Hello everyone. Uh, I'm Naresh. I'm a faculty in the Department of Electrical Engineering at IIT Hyderabad. And it's my privilege to welcome you to this course on Introduction to VLSI Design that IIT Hyderabad is now offering on the hybrid mode. So we are all familiar with the importance of digital integrated circuits in our current uh, world. So we see that the processors, microprocessors are there right from your laptops to desktops to mobile phones, cars and so on. So uh, we have we're familiar with the basic logic, you know, in the BTEC programs, we study that. But if you wonder how are these circuits designed, so that's something very, very interesting. So in this course, we'll try to design basic digital integrated circuits. So for that, what we'll do is we'll introduce the models, the numerical models, or what we call as uh, uh, spice models for a MOSFET, diode, and so on. We'll first study them in the first week or so. And then we'll talk about what we call a CMOS inverter. The CMOS inverter is simply a NOT gate. It consists of a PMOS and an NMOS transistor. And we'll try to design it, by which I mean that, you know, we try to decide what the width and the length of the transistor is going to be for the PMOS and NMOS devices so that the gate performs uh, at high frequencies or, you know, it has the lowest power consumption and so on. So what are the requirements for that? We, st we will study this in great detail. We'll do the DC analysis, the transient analysis and so on. And after that, we will move on to the other logic gates. For example, NAND gates, NOR gates, XORs and so on. So with that, we'll have the basic toolbox of uh, gates that we see as you know, uh, in our basic uh, courses. After that, in the last one third of the course, we will introduce memory elements. So we'll talk about SRAMs, DRAMs, how do we uh, design these structures. And then finally, as a project, we will work on a basic two bit ALU, or oh, sorry, four bit ALU with a two bit instruction set. That means we will say give operation code. Like for example, in assembly language programming, you will see these opcodes. So we'll specify the opcode, and based on that, your circuit should perform an operation. For example, add two four-bit uh, words, or subtract four-bit words, or compare and shift so and so on. So we'll be able to give get an insight into how a microprocessor works. So that's the whole object. That will be the end of the course. So I've been teaching it for about uh, four to five years, and I really enjoy this course. And I hope that you'll also find it interesting. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me and we will have a separate online, uh, separate session so that we can have more interaction, right? Thank you very much for your interest in this course and I look forward to seeing you.